Hey everyone, it's Annette with K-pop Oracles. Happy New Year. I'm bringing you another K-pop tarot reading. Today's reading is going to be a little update reading on Solar and Moon Boyo of Mamamoo. We're just going to kind of see, you know, what's, um, what's their connection like right now, what may happen to them this year, and what are some important lessons that they'll learn this year. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what's, what's going on right now. What is Solar and Moon Boyo's connection like right now? What is Solar and Moon Boyo's connection like right now? Okay, we have the Hangman. Okay, the Hangman is a sign that there may be like some sort of pause in the connection right now, like not a whole lot, maybe not a whole lot going on. I feel like there's just maybe focus on other endeavors at this moment. So they're kind of just like, I feel like they're just observing each other from a distance too. We have strength. It's still a solid connection though. I feel like they'll like it's it they're still I feel like they're still there for each other even though there's kind of like not a whole lot going on. Like it's it's still a solid connection. They're still going strong. Seems like a connection that will stand the test of time. The devil. Okay, so, oh, it's a devil, 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 naughty card here. Okay, so, I mean, the devil can mean, like, in, in traditional tarot, it can just mean, like, an obsession, just, like, um, yeah, like, I, I don't know, maybe they're just, like, really, like, it's like they can't get enough of this connection, I don't know, or this, this friendship that they have or something. It's hard to let go, I feel. Or... Um, you know, if some some difficulties were to arise, like it would be difficult to kind of let go of this connection. I feel like they're very like attached. I feel to the hip. We have the nine of spears and nine of wands. Yeah, like it's it's like the somewhat similar to the strength card here. I feel like this is a connection that they'll they'll never let go of. Like it, it's something that means a lot to them. Like they'll um, be able. To, like I feel like they'll still be they, like they'll continue being there for each other. I feel or like they'll never give up on each other. Even though they're like both busy as hell, like they'll still try to make time for each other, make time for this connection. Queen of Swords, very independent energies. Yeah, so they're just like really focused on doing their own thing right now, just doing a little solo work. Okay. Um, all right, so let's kind of see, um, you know, what may happen to them this year. What, what may happen to their connection this year? Four of Cups, Four of Cups, yeah, so uh, like like what I mentioned earlier, it's like, okay, they're kind of just like, there's not a whole lot of interaction, kind of just watching each other from a distance, like there's kind of a bit of a pause right now, but it seems like I've, they'll eventually spend more time to each other, like someone's going to reach out to the other and be like, yo, you know, let's hang out. Gonna happen to Solar and Moon Boyo's connection this year. Five of Swords. Hmm. Okay. So I feel like they're both be maybe be dealing with some conflict, some tension, some stressful moments. Seems like they may have to fight some battles this year. Not sure if it's with each other or with other people. So some ups and downs. Seems like it's coming.
We have the Ten of Cups. This is a sign that they'll continue being like a, you know, happy, prosperous family. Like, a, so um, this connection, I don't, I don't think it's going anywhere. Like, they're just, they just, they think the world of each other. They think highly of each other. Like, it's just a connection that brings them a lot of joy. Three of coins or three of pentacles, yeah. They'll be working a lot together. A lot of uh, projects, I feel. Maybe they might, both of them, may, maybe, I don't know, maybe possibly form their own little subunit of some sort, I feel. They'll be doing a lot, of, a lot of things together. Like it could just be music or just stuff outside of music. Knight of Coins, Knight of Pentacles. I feel like they'll be really patient with each other this year. I feel like they'll kind of try to meet each other halfway. It just seems like right now they're just like really busy kind of doing their own thing, but I feel like they'll uh, try to make be more patient, uh, make time for one another. And also I feel like they're planning for something, more projects, something that will bring in the dough because Coins or Pentacles energy has to do with money, so it seems like they'll be working on something, and it's gonna, it's gonna, yeah, bring in the dough. Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune, lots of traveling together. Seems like luck is on their side, so it seems like it will be a very successful year for them. Like just in general, like when it comes to the career and also just this connection. So I feel like, there, yeah, there'll be lots of adventures together, lots of traveling. Ten of Spears, Ten of Wands, lots of, yeah, it seems like it just maybe if their energy may feel like, I feel like they may like be put to work, really, um, work, working their butts off, so they may feel a little tired this year, but I feel like they'll make a lot of money though <laughs> this year. And also I feel like they'll spend a lot of time Sorry, my leg is flickering. That's creepy. <laughs> it's been a lot like working hard to maintain this connection. So, yeah. And we had the Ace of Spears of Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck, which is a sign that they're they'll be working on a lot of creative projects. So there's be a sense of like a kind of a new beginning for them. And sorry, my lights were acting weird. Sorry about that. I don't know. If there's a ghost here. What? Okay. What else? Gonna happen solar and moon blue connection this year. Phoenix, Phoenix, a sense of renewal. So it seems like the yeah, like with the five the five of swords that popped out, um, it's a sign of them dealing with complex tensions this year. But I feel like they'll be able to kind of rise above it, or rise above these issues, and be able to come come out strong. Some strong feminine energy coming. I'll check this light afterwards. <laughs> it's so creepy. Marriage? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Pl um, yeah. Yeah, it'll, it'll continue being like, you know, platonic so weights. What's gonna happen to Solar and Moon Beals connection this year? Safe home. Safe home. Yeah, they'll feel like a homie with each other, I feel. Okay. They f they'll feel, they just like, or I feel like they're just in general, they're just really comfortable around each other or with each other. Can you stop flickering? What's gonna happen to Solar and Moon Beals connection this year? Magical powers, 
magical powers. Hmm. I feel like okay. I think when it, when I when I think of this card, I just think of them like really trying to captivate like a wider audience or really trying to attract a greater following. I feel like there's something about them that will is magical and it's gonna like really draw people in. Okay, so what are some important lessons that they'll learn this year? Surrender the habit of people pleasing. I feel like with this card, I just, I feel like they'll be more like, learn to be more authentic, kind of being true to themselves not worry too much about what people think and just like really focus, um, you know, work on self-love, self-acceptance, like trying not to like, um, try not to be a people pleaser. Yeah. What else? We have the last quarter moon in Capricorn, last quarter moon in Capricorn, which is all about leaving the past behind, trying not to have, like, you know, just let go of any past hurts, past trauma, and focusing on the present moment, focusing on now, on the now. Okay, one last card. We have friendship, learning how to have fun, learning how to make time for like loved ones, you know, like life shouldn't all, be, it shouldn't just be all about work. It should be also be about having fun, going out, going places. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. I'm also on Twitter, you can follow me at kpoporacles1 and tumblr kpoporacles.tumblr.com. Until next time, thanks for watching, bye.